It's a great day here at Keck Filet's YouTube channel. I am the Doflamingo in all of One Piece that just remains so loyal to the deck. And I I'm presenting you round six of nine. Nice. Of the Play TCG July 15th Regional. And I'm facing Rob Lucci. I believe he wins the die roll and he decides that he goes second. So I have to go first. I do my shenanigans with my mulligans here. Um, but again, I want I want to get Rob Lucci the round before as well. And it looks like he does not mulligan and I decide to mulligan. Um, and I think a lot of Rob Lucci's don't know exactly what to do into my matchup. But I think personally, the matchups, their, their deck's pretty good, but it's a lot more mid range. And, you know, my deck removes mid-range cards. So, that is the goal. And it looks like I... I actually forget he has to... He gets to cut my deck at the second part. I don't know why. So, I just shuffle that up. I pop deck the Perona, which is Poggers. And with that, I go to action, looking at the top five cards of my deck. Organize them in a special way I like to do. And then he actually ends up playing down his brand new, I believe, and picking up. Oh, what does he pick up here? It's a, it has to be a Navy card. He picks up a Sakazuki, which is pretty good here. He gets a Sakazuki right away. And I think I remember my opponent didn't know exactly what Dawn we were at at the time when he made a mistake here. But I swing seven. I'm just going for tempo here with this Boa Hancock going here. And he swings five of the Boa Hancock, pays four for the Kuzan, getting a draw. Obviously. I think that's pretty strong, right? Um, and I, I think out here, I really want to swing this Boa Hancock and get a draw card. But at the same time, I don't I, I don't like the removal, but I, I he's I have to swing with the, the Boa Hancock. That's how I that's how I win board here, right? I need to win the game in one direction. If I don't swing with the Boa Hancock, he's just going to remove it with like skills. So it's like I attack with Boa first. I actually stack my deck in a way where I can I actually want to draw with Boa because I had a second idea here. So it actually worked out pretty well. So I can attack with Boa first, do that, and then place the Jimbe. I gave myself that option. I just had to really memorize what I did there, which is complicated. So he ends up guarding out of the second one. So now he's at three life. Again, I'm at five life, but I have two extra characters. He's, he's going to want to attack my characters. He has six Dawn. This is kind of where I think the opponent made a mistake. He swings four, 5k of my boa, reducing the level of my boa. And I decide just to counter out 1k. I thought he would just straight up play the Sakazuki against it. Why would you do that? And he swings five again at the boa Hancock. Again, uh, you're just you're just going to pop it with what? Why not just swing the Jinbei? It doesn't really matter. So, because he's going to play the Sakazuki. It just makes sense. You have Sakazuki, kill it. He actually plays the Kuzan, keeps two op open for a shockwave, not killing my Boa Hancock. And my opponent told me after, well, you're just going to remove it next turn. I'm like, well, I'm not at nine dawn. I'm maybe at seven dawn. You're just at six dawn. So he's like, oh, oh man, I just, I forgot. That's that's basically what his excuse was. And now, this Boa Hancock's juice. I'm, I get to swing into characters and draw cards. So I love that. That's, that's the nuts, right? That is the nuts. So I go to this. Uh, looks like I didn't actually like um, both of the Kuzons here. And it looks like I'm feigning what I'm going to do here. But let me take a double look here. With uh, I have two options. I could play a blocker and use Dofi skill. Or I can use three. Th it looks like I, yeah, I swing five first to the Kuzon. I want to attack this Kuzon, right? And I swing seven at that Kuzon. Right, so he uses Shockwave, just kind of getting the cards out of his hand. Again, his hand's starting it low now. I pay four. I'm gonna bottom at the other Kuzan, uh, getting him out of here. Right, and he goes to his next turn. He goes to eight dawn, and I want to make sure I have less than six cards. Right, that was actually my kind of my main goal um, with discarding a lot earlier too. So it helps out in two ways. Because if he attacks my board, I yeah, it's it's kind of strange. I, I I have to know to play around the whole. Uh, show curve so he swings seven uh killing that and i asked him for a response he's like no nope, i'm not gonna discard and then swings five coups on probably at the gym bay um lowering the power of gym bay as well and i'm like well i'm not really sure 
what to do here. If it was on my face, I just take it, right? But if it's at this, I just I give him a 2k counter and he Sakazuki's gets rid of that. And I uh I tell him the bottom deck is brand new, so that's just fine. Um it makes him discard a card. So if I, he, he could play that Sakazuki without discarding a card, without killing anything. So I just prefer this way. So he goes this, I play my Mihawk, I bottom deck the Kuzan. Very, very important. I bottom deck that Kuzan. And um, I go to my next turn. He's at 10 Dawn. I believe his hand's pretty limited. I only have four cards in my hand. He's been discarding just as much. So and he discarded a Borsalino for that Kuzan. Um, obviously, I'm just going to bomb deck the, the other card if it, if it goes through. So he places this card, uh, which is pretty interesting. I was asking, what does that card do again? It looks so pretty, but don't play it. So... Um, my opponent then plays a brand new, and it looks like with the brand new, he decides to pick up the E show, um, which is interesting because I'm never going to be six or more cards anymore, right? But I think it's obviously good later when he's just popping my cards. So he swings 7K at my leader, and I'm just going to take this one. I don't think there's a reason to not to. And he's still leaving, like, ob ob you know, an obvious to Dawn up. And I don't... Here's the, here's the crush. I, he doesn't attack with the Sakazuki. He doesn't want me attacking it and, and, and attacking his board. But but I had two Mihawks lined up here. That's the that's the main concern. Um, and I actually want to win board. And to win board, I actually don't want to swing with this Mihawk. So I swing five, first at leader. He does give me a 2k counter from his very limited hand. And I... Swing nine. Oh, maybe that's a different game. I did that, and then I do this. I play the Perona. I guess I was okay with him if he tries to kill my Mihawk. Um, it just it would slow down his turn. That's the main concern. Um, hmm. I guess I do swing with that. I just forgot I did. And uh, let's see exactly what happens next. So. I organize my deck in a certain way. I have four cards in hand. My opponent goes to his next turn. I'm thinking, what if he swings like so much? Uh, and that's what he does. He swings a ton. He puts, he puts so much. Sheesh. He puts eight on there. Swinging 13. I could discard my whole hand if I want to save this Mihawk. But I don't think my whole hand's worth saving one Mihawk. But I'm already in an advantage, advantageous state of the game. Right? Especially the fact that he has... Those other cards down. You said nothing else to play, unfortunately. So I let that go. He does not use skill to restand it. And it looks like I decide to go for maybe I need to pressure his game at this point. So I actually attach four here. I swing for six. I just want to make it very annoying. He had have a 2k counter, which, you know, because I was betting on that. Nothing else to do with the dawn anyway. I swing for five, but whatever. Um, I swing eight at leader paying one again kind of silly kind of giving him the chance to use a shockwave and then i have two dawn active and i'm going to do the mihawk and i i mean i probably have a love mellow but regardless of that i definitely want to keep two up as a bluff mellow so he cannot or does not want to attack my mihawk just kind of how that goes so he actually just scoops i think at this point he so it's like, there's no way to win this. I have four life. I have these characters up. He has to go through this, play his blockers. Um, he just has no way to win this, he said. So he just scoops. So it uh, doesn't happen too often, but, you know, makes sense when you're that interesting. I had six cards to hand, by the way. So he could have, he could have, he showed me there. Um, didn't really have much of a choice because my hand was just so healthy. Just uh, what, what he can do, it's too efficient. So, um so yeah, Rob Lucci seems pretty favorable for blue. I really appreciate everybody watching this. Let me know if you have any comments, any suggestions in the chat. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the next video. Ciao.